In the town of Utno, southeastern Sweden, a remote and isolated town, Carolina Olsen was born on October 29, 1861 AD, and was a natural and beautiful girl, until she reached the age of 14, specifically on February 18, 1876 AD on that day. Carolina went out of the house to walk and spend time in the picturesque nature and the outdoors, and while crossing the ice over the frozen river she fell, almost drowned and hit her head with a stone from the river stones, but she was pulled to safety in the last moments, it was a small wound and quickly recovered from it. After a few days, she suddenly began to complain of severe pain in her tooth, the pain continued with her for more than a day, to the point that her family believed that the inflammation and pain in her tooth was caused by magic. Be because of these things. On the night of February 22, Carolina went to bed, still in pain from her molar, the girl slept for a long time, longer than the usual sleep, so her family began to worry, fearing that her toothache might affect her health, so they went to wake her up, but she did not wake up. Hours passed. And days. And Carolina was in the same situation, she did not wake up even though she was alive and able to breathe normally. Her family tried to wake her up in various ways, so that they, they used pins to prick her feet but the girl remained in a deep slumber. Meanwhile, her mother was always by her side, fear and anxiety for her daughter, and she was watered with milk and honey sweetened water, and Carolina slept with barely opening her mouth. Carolina's father was a poor fisherman who could not afford to bring a doctor to see his daughter, so the family relied instead on the advice of neighbors and the advice of the town midwife. But all these advice yielded nothing, and after more than 10 days the neighbors cooperated among themselves to collect the doctor's fee. And in fact the doctor was called and continued to visit Carolina for a whole year, and after that he wrote to the editor-in-chief of the leading medical journal of Scandinavia at the time and sought help from doctors to find a treat for this girl. After that, a number of doctors visited the girl and noticed something strange, which is that her hair and the nails of her hands and feet had stopped growing despite the passage of time. In the end, these doctors were unable to diagnose the girl's condition, and all attempts to wake her failed, and Carolina's family said, that she would rarely get up, sit, mutter incomprehensible words, and then go back to bed. One of the doctors who visited the girl, diagnosed her as a kind of hysteria, so she was transferred to a mental hospital, and there they used electric detonators with her, but this method also failed, and after a month, she was discharged from the hospital without recovery or improvement in her condition, and this time, doctors said her condition may have been a type of paralytic dementia, although there were no indications that she had any symptoms of this disease. Finally, the doctors despaired of accurately diagnosing the girl's condition, and considered that Carolina was suffering from a mysterious disease, which they could not identify, and all that time, Carolina was in a deep sleep and her mother took care of her by giving her two cups of milk a day and some water sweetened with honey and sometimes sugar, until she died. The mother in 1904. After her mother died, she was cared for by a woman from the town who volunteered to stay with her. Two years after the death of her mother, her brother died in 1907. The strange thing is that after these deaths, Carolina entered into fits of crying, as she cried when her mother died, and also entered into a fit of hysterical crying when her brother died, but she did not wake up. After years of her long sleep, Carolina woke up to a completely changed world, and that was in 1908, that is, after 32 years since she slept in 1876, Carolina was very thin and pale, and had difficulty speaking, and showed sensitivity to light. She could not recognize the rest of her family members, and was shocked when she learned of the death of her mother and brother. Although Carolina was having trouble speaking, she said she still remembered reading and writing. The news of Carolina waking up in the town spread like wildfire, and all the people started going to see her because they knew her story. Newspaper reporters from all over Europe, England and the United States came to Ono to see her, and her story became very well known around the world. In response to a question about what she could remember, she replied that she remembered everything before she fell asleep, and said that she had seen strange visions in her sleep of blue faces submerged in water, and it was strange that her two brothers had drowned. Carolina was taken to a mental and psychological test in Stockholm, and everything was fine, as she did not suffer from any mental or mental illness, and was in good mental and physical health. The strange thing is that Carolina once she woke up was 46 years old, but she looked like a girl and she was in her 20s, as if time had passed more slowly during her long slumber. Sometime after she woke up, Carolina and her family began to feel disturbed by the large number of people coming to visit the house, so she decided to keep a low profile and live in peace for the rest of her life. In fact, a large number of doctors did not believe Carolina's story, and said that she was probably in agreement with her mother in making up this story and that she was suffering from psychological problems and pretended to sleep all this time, since in their opinion, 
From a scientific point of view, no one can it survives for this long, and it feeds only on milk and sweet water with honey. But assuming that Carolina was in agreement with her mother, would she have agreed with the woman who took care of her after her mother's death as well? This woman swore that for four years she had not seen Carolina awake or speaking, except for mysterious crying spells upon the death of her mother and her brother. In 1912, professor and psychiatrist Harold Fraudstone met Carolina, and published an investigation and analyzes of her condition entitled, Ocno Sleep. 32 years of fear, where he confirmed that she had been suffering from a deep slumber for 32 years, for a mysterious reason and did not actually wake up for this length duration, and it was speculated that she had a very mysterious illness, made her keep her eyes closed but she was reacting with sadness and anger while sleeping, and there was no trick in it. After that, Carolina lived a happy and long life, until she died in April 1950 at the age of 88. In fact, this strange condition has remained undiagnosed scientifically with accuracy, and it is not known what caused Carolina to sleep for 32 years, despite all attempts, even electric shocks. The case of Carolina is truly a medical marvel, and it is believed that this phenomenon is the longest sleep period for a human being who lived on Earth.